baseline here. and glide on the bass.
It sounds so cool in here. Ooh, gotta take these fucking patterns. Fix these patterns. Let's go.
here. Sample it. How many people are even watching? It's pretty boring. I'm pretty... Honestly, me making music is really boring. This is a beat I just started. And so there's five here, so shout out to, to, to that many people watching this. All right. Let's see. Duplicate it, maybe plus five would be cool. One, two, three, four, five. become cool. Quantize just a little bit. Maybe keep some human. Maybe a little kick for the build, building it up. melody while this builds up. What are the chains of melody? So it goes. One more time with some uh, dreamy vibes. Let's see. Maybe like a, a little piano. Kind of shiny something. <laughs> Twinkly. Let me out. You hard got to stop do what you hard does it. Hold on. You hard can't tell me. 
But you will beat you, beat me up differently. You see, you beat me up. But you. I like that vibes. Don't beat me up. But you will beat. But you. But you will beat you, beat me up differently. But you will beat you, beat me up differently. You see, you will beat me up. Oh, you will beat your beat your beat for least. Oh, you. Some time. What's going on here? Oh, you will beat. Whatever I did, my dog. Beat. Beat. Oh, you will beat your beat your oh, you will beat your. Oh, you will beat beat your beat your. Oh, you will beat your beat your. Bleep. Timing. Nice. A little jersey at the end, maybe at the last. Bum, 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 bum. Always love jersey forever. Jersey patterns. Shout out. Shout out New Jersey.
be this could be layered on top of the other sound. But a different one. Take out the lows. subtle you know I want it to like ride on top of this bass line just kind of like float on top of it
Damn. I'm not gonna lie, this is this shit's low. B's a little low for me. I'm gonna move it up. I'm gonna move everything up. C sharp, how about that? Two semitones. Alright, here we go. I wish there was a master button to move everything up. Two semitones. Seriously. automation
verb or something. Simpler sampler. Kind of a vibe. <laughs> kind of cool. I I wasn't recording any of that. Shit. Did anybody get it? No, didn't get any of it. All right. At least we got a vibe. A little 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 lead line on top of the bass. Could be cool. All right, let's just hear the whole. Let's hear the whole arrangement. <laughs> Everything's rough, very rough.
This should double. Should be different the first time around. Let me try this a few more times. pattern now it goes into a melody melodic version change this chord the bass this one baby chords, little chords, little tiny little chords, you can feel it, chords you can feel, but not hear, you feel me, you know, chords you can feel, but can't hear, what do we got, um, where are you at, do you guys understand what I'm making at this point, first you're like, what are these sounds, what's going on here, my mind works really weird, like, Sometimes it sounds like shit and then it just clicks, but I already know what it's going to sound like 10 steps ahead. So hopefully I'll be able to play this arrangement in a couple minutes after these chords. So you can kind of see what's going on. Um, by the way, it's my first time ever making music on anything live other than I've, I've done it before. I did it on a documentary years ago. When I did that song, Breaking His Foot With The Doors, I had to make a song. Like, first time meeting them, all these cameras around. And that was pretty crazy, but yeah. So, this is pretty cool. This is fun for me to do. I just feel like I'm really boring. I get self-conscious because like I probably this is the most boring shit. You know, I'm not sure, but I fuck with this idea, though. This is going to be really cool. Chords you could feel but not hear. Get this shit straight. Woo! I like these. Let's see.
So right here. What's the chord I'm looking for? It's the chord I have in my head. Thin it out. Maybe get more verb. Maybe a little bit. Low pass. A low pass, that means only the lows pass through. So you have no high, no high end. Shut off, but who's in it? Valentino Khan. Guys, my, my friend is Valentino Khan. He's in this chat. He did the song Pump That, Deep Down Low, and the Recess Remix. If you haven't heard of him, he's pretty sick. Love that guy. Love that man. It's kind of like, you see what I'm saying? So here's, the, here's, a, ba here's a basic arrangement. This is like my, this is an idea, right? It's probably gonna change, right? It's gonna change a little bit. Maybe these chords, maybe the bass is too ominous. By the way, look what I have going on right here. Look, look. A beautiful voice, I know. Thanks. I know my voice is so beautiful. Octave higher.
Hey guys, I'm going to read read what you guys are saying for a second. Um, I'm pretty boring at making music, huh? But it's okay. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't fuck with me. MC Land! It's kind of making a little drop. I think there, there could be cool more sounds in here. Like, just a couple more. Like, little, little, little hits. Little sauces, little flavors. Hop, 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 I also, I also feel like, I feel like this could be a more simple bass line too. Like, I feel like it doesn't work with the next section very well, you know? So I'm thinking like, something more simple. Not so forceful. Not like telling you how to feel too much. simple sometimes it's just three notes uh. maybe just one note right here and then it bends Yeah, that doesn't need much. And I think, you know what's cool too? Maybe this section, because I like this. <laughs> that could be even more like minimal right there when it builds, you know? Because that's just a little part in, 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 its, in itself, you know what I mean? So this bass line, it's a lot of, I don't know if you guys can hear on the cell phones, but there's a lot of mid-range on the bass, which is cool sometimes, but right now, look what I'm going to do here. So, I like how the mid-range sounds here, but when this part comes, I'm just going to automate so there's no mid-range, it's just a sub. You feel me? And I'm going to tune it down off and lower. Let's get everything out of this. Let's just fuck. Let's just effing get the bass, that little lead line, and the. And add the claps right here. And then right there's where the bass can start to slide, okay? So check it out. This is how you slide a bass. Let's maybe bring it here. Let's go like this. Master, I mean, wait, hold on, what am I doing? We're going to massive. It's not even massive. Is it massive? That is massive. In that case, I need to do this. Mono, we don't even need that. Legato Triller, sure. And now, glide timing. Let's keep it chilling right now. And I think, oh yeah, this is the most important part. Duh. So you go pitch bend. Let's go all the way plus 20. Let's just do like plus 12. Freak it. Let's do plus 24. Down 24. We can go really far if we want to. All right. So maybe it goes like this. Go like that. Go here. Where's the glide? Boom. Um, let's do massive. Oh, yeah. We have to do this too. Gosh. Actually, no. We don't need to do that. Here. I mean, this is hard to do while I'm holding the phone. Give me a thumbs up if anybody's a producer watching this. Anybody. A 
Okay, give me a give me a, a thumbs up if you're a producer. Give me like a winky face if you're not a producer. Nice. Damn. Look at all these producers. Um. I'm trying to do is make this bass glide, baby. Pitch bend. All right, here we go. I like it really high like that. All 24. 24 semitones. Yeah, I don't, that's too many, it's too many things going on right here. Like, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, uh. So just like way more simple. There's a lot of high end in this one. I'll just smooth it out. I want it to be more of a feeling, you know? Like this is a bl something we're going to blend into the beat. Simple, you know? So, you know what? I never quantized this lead line that I played. By the way, guys, it's really simple. This sound is so simple. If you want to know what it is, it sounds all dreamy and vibey, but it's really the stupidest, simplest sound. L listen. Just like a vengeance, v vengeance sample, random sound. The little glide, a little verb. Okay, I need to quantize just a little bit. Well, all quantize means, for those, you know, who don't know, is just making it more computer perfect, I guess. Right? Just aligning it on the grid. So look. Too perfect. Because sometimes, you know, like Daft Punk, half human, half robot. Let's see. So that feels good. The first half is nice. This one's a little early and this one's later, but it's cool. Gives it a little swing. This one could be a little bit earlier on this one. Just a little bit. Same with that. More groovier. Woo!
Do I start the the track with the drop or melody or what? Dude, honestly, every time is different. Hey, what's up, Dronte? Dronte knows. Dronte's seen me make music a million times. Just literally just how you saw it. Like, the whole, the whole track, this whole idea started out with this. This sound. This is the first thing, right? Actually, that's the fifth. So, this is this one. Simple. I just, I just started playing that and I heard that in my head and just, you know, and then I layered it, but that was really a counter melody. I love counter melodies. I love like, sometimes in the beginning of an idea, you'll, you'll have this kind of melody in your head and it almost doesn't make any sense until, you know, you kind of put those counter melodies in. So like, this is the first idea. It's just, it's simple, but then this gives it an instant mood, this counter melody. Bass line, simple. You can turn yourself an octave higher on the bass just so you can hear it in your homes since it's a little subby. Listen. this like drop with the the previous part a little bit maybe it's to tease the sound right this just a simple little thing so what i'm gonna do simple this is a very simple sound also made this in ableton i heard someone say what's my favorite plugins i don't really use that many plugins to be honest um my favorite stuff is literally just, you know, a lot of the Ableton stuff. But if I really needed one, if there was only one plugin in the whole world, actually two plugins, all I need, and I don't need anything else, is Pro L and Pro Q3, EQ and limiter. <laughs> you know, that's basically it. And you can make anything out of anything, I think, pretty much. Make a whole song out of your voice. I've done it before. It wasn't the best song, but you can do it. That's that's a voice. It's my voice. Um. Okay. So so now so a lot of some of these sounds are placeholders, like this bass right here. Wait, that's cool. But this. Maybe a little percussion. So, so I'm I like that. Dylan Framis. Okay, now I'm getting. I'm getting uh Shut up Dylan Shut up Dylan Frannis <sighs> How the hell do I uh Woo <laughs> like just something really little there Like, sometimes if you just don't have a woo, you just go like, you just go. Sometimes I do this, check it out. Here's, I do this all the time. Dylan, you've seen me do this. Um, let's see. 
check, check, check. All right, configure, Mapper Pro microphone. What the hell? Let's do this. It's kind of cool. Let's do like a little, let's do like a bass. Let's make a simple, I want to make a simple bass tone on that and massive. Just a simple one. filter what's going on oh Woo! simple a little simple all you need is simple sound sometimes maybe some envelope on it Another filter at the end of it. Maybe an envelope. Simple. I forget. This could be an AC Slater track right here. But that's all I'm going to use for it right now. I'm going to put a little bit of erosion. You know what's cool about Ableton is Ableton's plugins. Check it out. Simple. Look how cool this is. This little erosion thing. You can do a lot of stuff. You can add an actual sine wave, like an actual synthesis coming out of there, which is crazy. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of interesting. But if I did that, kind of old school Dr. P sound. But what if I did that and duplicated the erosion? See, guys, this is my first, so I'm going to try to do, um, oh, fuck, I kicked off my sound. I'm going to try to go live on Twitch soon and do another tutorial or just make a beat from scratch like this. So this is my first time. This is kind of my beta test. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know. Let's see. I actually like that. Well, like that. A little noise on the top. Is that a preset? It's not a preset. It's something really simple. Look, it's just a... Uh... It's really simple shit here. But you know what's cool is like a lot of my sounds end up really simple. But it's all when I, when I bounce it to audio, it, you know, that's when I do a lot of my other stuff, you know. It's like getting the patterns, getting everything there. Like a really skeleton version, so it almost the sounds aren't even that interesting, but the idea is there, you know, and you can develop the sounds later. That's kind of how I work a lot of the times, too. So. That's where I wanted that sound. Just this one, what happened one time. It's right there.
shit, two basses are playing at the same time. What's going on right here? I really like this little section. This kind of comes like, becomes like a little melodic section. <laughs> So that's like a basic idea, like so basic. That was about, I would say a little, it was like about an hour. You know, and now this is a solid idea. I'd probably save this and then work on a bunch of other shit today, you know, in a day and do like, you know, an idea an hour like that. And then like go back and listen to all of them and with a fresh brain, a fresh ear and say like, oh, this is, this is cool. This is cooler, you know. A lot of times too is like when you're creating, you're just getting ideas quick. You're getting a lot of ideas out quick. Some things are going to stay exactly the same, but some things you might be like, oh, I love this sound. I love that sound, but I don't like that melody. I want to change the melody. Or you'll be like, oh, I like this. You know, it could be anything. You can apply that to anything in the track, but. I hear some some breakbeat, some like uh think. Something I've already chopped up and used a lot. doing too I was um this song needs a tease I'm telling you like you can't really hear it but these two sounds together sounds really sick that's the song that's the idea right there You know, it's like, as long as you can identify like a main idea, you can put all these sounds and like growls, whips, tricks, like all in the middle. But as long as there's, I mean, for me, that's my process, you know? Um, so yeah, it's like, if you can have like a simple element and you can mute everything else and that's there, to me, that's the song. Whether you have lyrics or whether you don't have lyrics or whether you, whatever, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, that's the basic idea. Um, you know, maybe you're making an instrumental track just for clubs and dance floors, or maybe, maybe, you know, if you're making a song with, you know, for a vocalist, you know, it's always good to keep things even simpler, you know? So, but yeah, like, I just like these two parts together. They sound really, has an emotion. So.
changes some personality. Could this be an octave higher even? Put a little filter on it. Maybe like Ooh, I like this. There's like no noise on the top of it, which just kind of sounds crazy. No. Let's go here. Yeah. Yeah. 
The forests. What's going on? Some samples. So like these things, all this shit will make sense at some point. I promise. It's a method to my madness. This could have a little bit of a phaser on it. I think this could be a this could activate the second part this little because then it's like this new percussion comes in i really like this percussion i like rhythms under everything you know like this this whole new little thing gives it a new vibe um this right here
section. Back into what I was doing though. I like this sound. Let me figure, let me figure a little. So this thong thong should come in on the third time around. That's how I'm feeling. So. All right, producers, anybody out producing out there? You ever have this sometimes with square waves? This is like a super distorted square wave. And the the notes are like bam 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 bam, um, but sometimes when you tune it down really low, like an octave lower. Wait, wrong sound. Where'd it go? Bam 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 bam. Then you go octave lower. It sounds like it's actually another half step lower than it is, but it's not. Like this would sound like the right note. Listen, but it's actually not. It's. Whatever. Let me quantize these little little hits a little bit. Let's make this dun, dun, a little bit tighter. It's a little bit annoying. I need to get like a cell phone holder, cup holder. See if this works. Let me try to place this somewhere. I'm getting low battery too, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this in front of you guys. Um, let me see how far I can get. A couple more minutes. Make this listenable. <laughs> such a simple beat like oh shit sorry flip you around it's such a simple beat there's not even like a full hi-hat yet we can use a whole other hi-hat like we have space that's what i'm trying to say Ooh, i like that one put it in there put it
Okay. You know, I don't like these bong bongs. I don't like those. I'm gonna mute those for now. I think it's a cool sound. I think this could be a whole other song, this sound. I can't even steal my own chargers. Let's see. Go into the DJ room. Okay. Need a phone charger for my, for my, for my live. For my life, for my life. All right, let me see. Here's my studio, everyone. Some cool art. The only plaque I have in here. What's up? Okay. Look at this, look at this fan art of my dog. Isn't that cute? My little dog. All right. Um, I'm trying to finish this song, but looks like I have. Is 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 crazy? The sounds. I mean, I don't have a cell phone charger in this room. Actually, hold on. Maybe there is. Boy, this computer bag. Let's see. And in here, there's no cell phone. The only cell phone charger in this whole studio is outside the studio room. Away from the computer, away from the creativity. Baby Jake! I'm looking at all those people here. Roy Kramers. Um, dude, I love you guys. Listen to this shit. I mean, it's pretty cool. I like this little idea. I was starting to like... You know, right before my cell phone died, I was like, okay, how do you connect this first section with the second section? And I was just sort of taking some of the sounds and um, building them up. No! So this song, I think this could just kind of come in, build tension. Yo, someone give me some vocals, give me some vocals. So this is the sound I want to connect to this one. So I'm just going to make this into audio. See, this is boring. I'm so boring at making beats. You know? Go watch Mike Dean live. Like, he just fuck... He's, you know, I'm not like... These producers, some of these producers are so incredible. Like guys like Mike Dean or like No ID who have like, they basically pre, I mean, I have a lot of ideas. Don't get me wrong. This is just a beat from scratch. Like a lot of times I'll, I'll make ideas like this and then I'll sample everything and put things in my old folders. But like I saw, you know, hung out with No ID one time and seeing him work is just incredible, man. The amount of ideas he has pre-made and the amount of sort of structure he's put into his whole workflow so he can basically mix and mash all these like these drums he made from these melodies i also like to experiment i also have a feeling that's always one thing i will say out of every song i make there's always like a feeling i want to get out and i have no idea how it even sounds like i have feelings and then when i start playing around it leads me towards that feeling that's already inside i know it sounds corny and crazy but 
I love discovering the sounds. I love knowing that, like, I don't even know how it, it needs to sound right now, but I know how it needs to feel. And that's how I normally come up with really cool, creative ideas. It's like chasing a feeling, you know? Um, anyway, so this is the feeling right here. So I like that. It's a little scratchy. Take this shit out. Take the scratch out. This is how you take the scratch out, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of like under there, and then maybe. So if the beat, if the buildup goes. She should be in the same key as the first note. So yeah, instead of ah. so it just has that little feeling. So it connects the beats together. By the way, something I added while my phone was dead. It's just I was using it as a fill, but I but it, it kind of became this sort of like the thread of the record. to creep in so so it should creep in even more than this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another filter on this and go like this check it out look what you can do with Ableton you can go ooh you know kind of goes from quieter to louder or darker to brighter depending on how you look at it but then maybe at the end of it maybe it just goes wetter dry wet I don't even know what I'm doing guys you know I never know what I'm doing you know, it's cool. Automate that. Sometimes automating the size does some weird stuff. Especially at the end of the measures, you can get little fills. Check that little... Oh! Sound. basic idea it's really basic you know this is something like i said i would save now that's how i work sometimes if i'm, if I'm really in love with something i'll finish the whole thing i'll spend another couple hours and dive deep into every individual sound but this is just like probably you know probably an hour's worth of work straight um and it's yeah it's cool i like i like it it's let me take this out right here I'm gonna do look at me I'm still going 
even though I keep saying I'm not going to work on it anymore. That's what I want to do. I want to take this little, this little thread, the little, the little beat, and I just want to like make it sound like a baby beat in the beginning. You know, just a baby, just learning how to walk for the first time. You know, like it's just, it's a little shy. You know, it's a little shy. It hasn't got, it hasn't gained its full confidence yet and its strength yet, but soon enough, it will. That's the idea, right? Everything has a story. Every detail has a meaning in a story. I'm just kidding. Not always. It doesn't always have to have a meaning, but let's see. It's kind of like, um, who's the painter guy? Who's the painting guy with the afro? What's his name? What's the Afro painting guy? Someone? What's the guy who paints with the Afro? No one? Old school? R.I.P. Bob Ross. There you go. Like how everything has a story. You know? So like... It's like this is just a little baby and he just hasn't, you know, he hasn't fully developed. He hasn't fully been the confident person yet. No, he's still shy. But here we are on his journey from being a little, what the hell has that happened to my automation? A little shy man to being the successful, confident man he wants to be. Guys, thanks for watching me make a beat. I know it was pretty boring. Um, but this is a cool idea. And I'm going to charge my phone for a little bit. And I'm trying to set up some cameras in this room so I can do it properly. Um, it was a little tough sitting there holding my phone, trying to show you guys automations and, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all well out there um in, in quarantine land you like that we spent we spent like a a, a good bit like a, over an hour on ig and we didn't talk about you know what once it's pretty cool um sick love you guys um we'll see you bob ross i see it it's bob ross 
The reason why I brought up Bob Ross is because, like, everything he paints, he just, like, everything has a little story. He's like, yeah, put a little bird up there. You know, it could be a nice bird. He could be bringing worms to his little chicks. You know, he, like, he basically tells a story. Hey guys, how's it going today? How's it going again? Um, so I'm curious, who was here when I started this beat earlier today? Anybody? I, re I really wonder how... G. Jones! G. Jones! Maybe I'll send this song to you. What's up, G. Jones? Yo, G. Jones. This could be some shit. I send you, actually. Check it out. Sean Wasabi! Sean Wasabi! adding this in sounds good some like without this melody as like a post <laughs> Why doesn't I'm I'm confused like sometimes it G Jones you fuck with this I'll send this to you right now Um Alright I got you Sean Wasabi Heike Geo happy birthday Um Hold on It's weird like my 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 messages don't scroll you know, so I have to. Sorry, I scroll and try to find everybody. Um, I love how I love how this person said this is dope. I love how you color code on Ableton. None of this is color coded. This is literally just random. I have everything on random. It probably should color code it more though. Um, but um. Yeah, I'm going to send you this right now. I'll play it one more time. I do like this.
like build right there. Dip, 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 John, and then the light bug. Anyway, okay. I'm going to bounce some stems. Who's in this chat room? It's weird. Like, I put my phone down and it doesn't scroll with these questions. With, um, all that stuff. Anyway. Sick. All right. So I think this idea is finished. Fuck it. I'm sending it to G Jones right now. We'll see what happens. Sean Wasabi, bro. You're sick too. Who else is in here? X and G. I just saw unique. <clears throat> Trying to see everyone. Team easy. Odd kid out. Okay, oh, odd kid out. You want to hear? You just logged in. It's cool. All right, last time I'm gonna listen to this last time. Send it to G Jones. got a lot still got a ways it can go but all right i'm gonna come back on in a little bit hello everybody i just want to say a real quick hi like i'm not you know i'm not a big you know instagram live person so this is all still new to me so it's nice to see everybody here um i'll see you soon g jones look out This emotional moment just came out of this song. A little emotional moment. Davey Martinez. Part. Love you, Davey. Develop! It's emotional right here. Listen, look at this, guys. It fits. As long as it fits. I'm 
really emotional right now, guys. Someone give me a vocal. This is the crying part. Alright, that's the idea for now, for real. Alright, I'll see you guys later. We love you.